What's up, everybody? Today I am in Girard, Ohio at the Ohio Fan Fest Expo Center. Um, there's going to be horror celebrities here wrestling, all different types of fun stuff, so follow me. Here's the room for the panels. Doesn't look like there's any going on now. Making my way down to the vendor hall. Hopefully I can score some uh, good horror, horror movies or shirts or props. Some jewelry. March Massacre. There's all their jewelry and stuff. Yes. Guess I'll start over here. Some more jewelry. Oh, there's some pens. I'm gonna check out these pens. See if they got any pen stickers. And you can mix the. There's magnets. Koozies. How's it going? Pretty good. The other thing in here is five bucks each. It's magnets, oh, wow. air fresheners, decals, right. and koozies. Got shot glasses back here too. We need a koozie. Okay. Why not? Why shouldn't we get a koozie? <laughs> shot glasses. Oh, no. Where's my daughter? Here's the card if you guys are interested. It's called <laughs> Merch Massacre. So I'm gonna take that. All right. Thank you guys. See what they got over here. Looks like little toys. Funko Pops, stickers, magnets, toys. Pins. There's little pins. Some more merch stickers. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good. You? Pretty good, man. I think I seen you at uh, the Butler conference not too long ago. Yeah. Texas Chainsaw Merch. Yeah, right? <laughs> good to see you in my neck of the woods. <laughs> There's some more shirts. Oh, looks like it's food down there. Some toys. So we're still kind of waiting on our money. Some posters, it looks like. Hello. That's pretty cool. Might have to come back and get that. Not talk. I might have to come back and get some of these prints. I'm going to look around. Some comics. Hello. Hi there, how are you? Pretty good. Some more prints. Some toys. There's some more toys and Star Wars stuff, Disney stuff, wrestling stuff. There's some Pokemon stuff. Oh, there's pins. Let's see what kind of pins they got. I'm always in the market for some pins. Oh, this is all like weird anime stuff, not my style. Hello. Tom Cook, that's in Hello. just 10 minutes. You can start making your way over to the panel. There's a couple of seats still left. Get on over there. Tom Cook at 4 p.m. How much are the pins? Um, <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna score some of these pins. Nice prints. Some more. Hey, how's it going? 
Pretty good, how about yourself? Good. There's so much, there's so many posters, so much stuff out there, it's hard to see. Pretty cool prints. Yeah, I'm gonna be. No, like that was. I like that grandma's one. They put that in a hard sleeve. I forgot I had these in the car. No shit. It's a record. It's a bunch of bands covered black flags. Well, now you gotta, you gotta get something for that. It's got more toys. Vintage toys. Pens, which is the beauty, awesome. the beauty yeah, of my spot. Comics, cards, Funko Pops, or toys. You know what? I'm somehow I'm not. No. It's indirect. It's I mean, I more comics. I haven't found any movies yet. I'd like to find some movies. Toys. Vintage toys posters. Oh, yeah, I got some movies. Check out all my awesome artwork at artofoldschool.com or at symbol Art of Old School, man. Dude, and keep on subscribing to this channel, y'all. Uh, thank you, sir. There's some of his uh, shirts that he's got, guys. All made, handmade himself. Um, all the artwork he does. I, I bought this on a poster. It's cryptid one. I need a picture. Then there's posters up here. Some posters over here. Posters over here and some stickers over here. So, you guys, that was pretty much the gist of uh, the Ohio Fan Fest so far. And uh, I'm going to stay around, maybe catch a couple panels, uh, see what else they got going on. I didn't really find, there was only a couple DVD uh, selections that I found, but they were kind of pricey, like 20 bucks and up. That's a little bit out of my price range. So um, I might go to the mall once I get done with here and buy a couple for more that are more in my price range, five to ten dollars, you know, just to make myself happy. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go put some of my artwork that I got out in my car and come back in. I'll show you guys what some of the stuff I got once I get out to the car. Movies. Hey, I'm by
Ohio Consumption at Ohio Fan Fest uh, this weekend, uh, selling art, uh, you know, come and hang out with everybody. Uh, it's a good time. All right. Uh, this is all of his artwork up there displayed. Very unique, one-of-a-kind posters that you guys can find. I really love this Jason one, the Crystal Lake one. That one's awesome. There's some really good ones. Slasher of the Universe. Some very good ones. He's also got enamel pins over here. Very good enamel pins. are not cheaply made. They're 10 apiece or 3 for 25. Um, and here's his prices. Excuse me. For everything that you can find here so check him out and uh also coming up is toy ohio june 18th if you guys are in there you want to check that out Right. 
Anybody else? Are we? All right. Very good. Have, uh, All right. Sure. That, I think that somebody just recently rebooted the email. Yes. Sorry. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it just doesn't it doesn't match up with ours, yeah. and that's the one people love, yeah. and they keep redoing it differently. I say, do it like our show. Just make it for forty-five-year-olds instead of forty instead of six-year-olds, yeah. and you'll have billions of fans. But they keep changing it so that you know nine tenths of the people don't really care for it. Because it's not even it's something somebody else caught, came up with. So but yeah, that's another question I get all the time. And it's like, yeah, I, I didn't think it was that good. Animation wasn't very good because it's all in computer. And they, what they do is if the character jumps, like he's going to jump and land. That's a drawing, and that same drawing moves all the way up to here, and then they change the drawing to one where he's got his legs folded, and then there's one more drawing to go, and then one when he lands. So there's five drawings. Well, when we did it, there'd be like 25 drawings to get him to do that, so that he would, you would see the action as he was tumbling. Now it's just faked, and, and so it just doesn't look as good. But a lot of the people don't know the difference, you know, and so it, it's cheap to do it that way, let's just do it that way. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for coming, and well, yeah, <laughs> check out my table, and uh, if you haven't bought anything, buy something. Buy something. Or not, just say it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So, you guys, that was Tom Cook, um, the animator that uh, animated He-Man uh, he as a uh, cartoon, but um, he's done other stuff, too, but... Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, the conference here, guys. Um, I'm going to walk around a little bit more. May sneak and see uh, what the price is to get a picture and autograph with some people in the movie uh, from the movie Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't really have that much money, so I probably won't get a autograph or a picture. But um, I did speak with the guy. I believe his name was Len, and he was from um, Pittsburgh. He was in one of the... Um, zombie films. Real nice guy that I spoke to him for about 20 minutes about a bunch of different things. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, hit the like button and please subscribe. That will help my channel grow as well as let you know when new videos are coming out. Uh, stay tuned guys. There will be another treat coming to you later on this night. I'm going to Factory of Terror in Canton, Ohio for halfway to Halloween Haunted House. So there will be a video uploaded for that as well. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a great one. Bye. I thought it was the brother coming out. Hulk Hogan. I was like, whoa! <laughs>